is is like a witness to to us to know that uh, even in this system and in this world, sometimes even doing it in their fashion and in their forms, in their in their courts, you can fight. And those things, uh, it has a it has a purpose and a point, and there's a time for everything. Uh, even as the scriptures say, that there's a time for everything, and there's a time for us to fight, and there's also a time for us to have an understanding of what the Most High. As we as Israelites say, the Most High Yah is revealing to us as a people. And I agree with you 100%. I agree with you. And a lot of people, they they have to rise up out of their stupor, and they have to make choices, and they have to be good choices. But they got to realize that this is not about just me. When David went up against Goliath, it wasn't about David. It was about the one who sent David. Yes. And what was and what did Goliath? How did the story end? Yeah, David killed Goliath with the slingshot. But what was greater was when David took Goliath's own sword and cut his head off with his own sword. And in the Bible, the sword is the written word. And what happened with Moses and Pharaoh? Pharaoh was so great, so powerful. He had his little musicians around him and soothsayers. And he could create any illusion. But the most powerful thing was God says that he was going to get the glory. He let Pharaoh harden his heart because the curse was going to come out of Pharaoh's own mouth. And that's what James Cameron is, Pharaoh. And what did he do? The confession came out of his own mouth. And that's how you destroy people like that. The arrogance. You destroy them with their own words. You turn the truth on against their lies. God says, whoever is lying on you, tell the truth on them. Whoever is persecuting you, he says, pray for them. Did he not tell you to turn everything back around on them? Do good unto those who do bad unto you. Remember his words? You know, you know what I think of, Sister Sophia, um, when we speak of uh, doing war or, or, you know, going against your enemy, uh, the scripture speaks on how we are to take counsel uh, of the Most High Yah, to have that wisdom given to us if, if we lack that wisdom to seek wisdom. But also you get counsel from, from uh, a, you know, uh, um, a number of people. And by hearing your, 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 uh, your testimony today, it, it, it shows that, that, that we can take what Yah says, uh, just what he says as being power and being strength, that what he says is established. It, it will stay established. It cannot be shaken even when the wicked seem like they're prospering. You know, they made these millions off of uh, your, your, your um, no, original. They made billions. They made oh, billions. billions. Not billions. Thank millions. you for that they correction. Thank you for that correction. Billions off of what you originally did but it does like you said it does not take away who you are as um and i'll and, and i'll say quote unquote a black woman as a uh, a hebrew or an israelite or a person with a talent who who meant to use that talent to to show forth um the thing that the most high had placed in you and in doing that he causes uh, uh, instruction to be given to not just you, but like you said, to a people and to people with a heart to do what is right. And you can see how the Most High has used that today. Well, I do, you know, personally. I see how the Most High has used that to bring us awakening. You know, some people are still asleep, but it, it is things like this when you come on on uh, live shows or you do newspaper articles and it's written and we read those articles and we say yes it is it is uh the most high's uh purpose to wake us up to to make us enlightened by his his word by his strength the things that he has said and he and he has showed that in just speaking to you today and i thank you for the opportunity to uh even have words with you and thank you for coming in and, and speaking with us as Hebrew Israelites and, and, and uh, sharing your your insight and we do uh, pray that the Most High Yah increases you in his purpose and his plan for your life. Thank you very much because he will because he said there will be those who will never hear nor see the words, his words. And he said, let the dead bury the dead, for they are spiritually dead, and they shall never be alive anyway. And let those who listen to lies, listen to lies. And let those who seek after the truth, let them find it, for they will find it if they go out and seek for it. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter. Everybody won't be saved, and everybody won't hear the message of God anyway. They're just meant for those 
who are asleep to stay asleep. But it's okay. They can sleep until they awaken one day, spiritually. Right. And I, I thank Brother Malachi for your wise words tonight, mm -hmm. Ock. Uh, before we go to the next call, and, and, and we still get, get some calls, and I, I just want to give my view on the matrix, because I saw some, some very complex biblical understanding that not everybody knows about. Like, for instance, uh, the city of Zion. <coughs> Zion is the nation of Israel. Now, when the Bible, and, and, and this is another concept, the Bible uh, actually says that the ancient Israelites were a black-skinned people, that they were black people in this in itself can be found in the matrix when it talks about that tank and, and, and Dozier was genuine child children of uh, of a Zion. They were, you know, it was, it was talking about them being original Israelites, but the city of Zion represents what the Bible calls the wilderness, the place of safety that when Satan gets his three and a half year uh, rule on the earth that um, the Israelites will be taken into this place of safety where they will be protected. So there are some very, and, and, and even the concept of a new trinity, you know, you got Neo, which as you, as you stated in Latin means new, and then Neo got with trinity, so when you get Neo and trinity, you got a new trinity, and that new trinity is going to be represented by the black man, the, um, the uh, white male, and the, and, the, uh, and the woman, the man, the world man, the father, the son, and the mother. And all of this was in the Matrix, and, 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 and this article that we wrote a few years ago, and it just really breaks that down, and it almost goes uh, uh, verse by verse with some scriptural understanding of just what's there. And I, like I say, when I saw this movie, I, I knew that, uh, as we call the white people Gentile, I, I, I knew no Gentile had a hand in uh, uh, writing this, that this was something that was on a deeper, deeper well, level. There. There, are, there are no Jews that believe in Christ anyway. They just they don't believe in the Christ. And, and, mm -hmm. and another thing, these Jewish white boys have never gone on any talk shows talking about the Matrix and how they came up with it and that they wrote it. And they never will. They sign contracts and never do interviews because they're hoax. They're nothing but a liar, and it will be found out because anybody starts speaking to them, they couldn't tell you anything about it. Right, right. They don't even know. They don't even know what the work is. This is like someone steals something and they put it up there for it to be sold, but they don't even know what they're selling. And then someone <laughs> comes and says, "Woo, what is this?" And then they can't answer because they is not of them. It's not of their fruit. It's not of their nature. It's not of who they are. It's not from their DNA. My DNA is upon the screen. And that's why they couldn't separate the work. The work comes together as one. Look, the lie got found out. Everybody knows the Matrix and the Terminator is one. Look at the six movies in chronological order. They go right into each other. Can you want me to explain it and break it down? The woman who has the baby is part of the prophecy. And the Terminator is to come and kill her. So the baby won't be born in the future to take out the machines. And then the second Terminator, the man, the little kid, the teenager, looking like a girl, long hair, earrings, unisex, because he needs to be hidden as a girl on paper in the city. Then the third Terminator, a man child, still asleep consciously, doesn't know who he is, don't know why they're trying to kill him. And then he's hidden in the city and he grows up. At 30 years of age, when the rebellion or the revolution takes place, they come to him, the rebels, they find him, and, and they tell him they got to take him to the, to the Oracle so he know who he is. And then the John Baptist character, Morpheus, explains who he is and what his purpose is so he can evolve. And he goes to the pod, his human side dies, the corruption is cleared, and then the energy comes into him. Now he can fight the machines. Now, in the continuation of the story that they don't have, the machines are born that he fights with and why they are, are upon the earth. That's a continuation. And then okay. what happens? And how are the machines born upon the earth? Well, who created the machines? And why do the machines hate the humans? That's Matrix 4, the evolution. See what I'm talking about? Yes, 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 absolutely. Back so Cracking the genetic codes. Right. You know, uh, uh, a lot of people are, are very fascinated to, to, to know that the John Connors character is supposed to be Neo. You know, a lot of people really, really like that, like that concept that, because, you know, John Connors, as we heard about him from all, you know, from the first Terminator movie, and then we got to see him in the, uh, actually see him in the, in the, in the second, but we actually seen him in battle in the fourth, and that is supposed to be the, ne you know, the Neo character. That's really amazing to some people. That yeah, are that's the Neo, because look, Sarah Connor is Neo's mother, because J.C., 
Jesus Christ, John Connors, is equal to Neo, one and the same. 